Hey everybody, uh, I'm going to try to make a quick video, try to, um, sometimes I can ramble on, keep going forever, sometimes I feel like I can talk to a wall. Um, make a short video over the uh, inject, uh, 6 liter power stroke injector flow bench. And so basically what the goal is, is to use an electric motor, spin the short block that way I get a reading from my cam sensor which is over right here and get a reading from the crank sensor which is down here so then basically have a PCM and a FICM hooked up to it and make it think it has an engine running uh, it's going to run oil I'm gonna have an oil cooler mounted here um, obviously I get the high pressure pump the high pressure pump fitting what I'm going to do and I haven't exactly figured out yet but I have one in it so I can use this one possibly maybe this new one over here I'll use I'm going to flip this over TIG weld one of these uh, high pressure line fittings like this is uh, similar to um, oh, what would be used like on a tractor or any piece of equipment where there's going to be high pressure uh, a hydraulic system and so I got two of these and if I remember correctly I think they're about the same and so I can take this and weld it just like this and so then this will be sitting here and the line will come up and over uh, to, no, I want it to come up underneath and I want to make it to where uh, I can take the standpipe fitting out and the lower portion will stay welded in uh, to this piece, one of these, and I'll probably end up cutting it and welding that in so it fits tight against the head. And I'll have something set up uh, there possibly. I need to get that cil the cylinder head up higher. That way I can get some vials underneath of it. Four vials. Uh, and a drain system for whatever oil is uh, then ejected out of the injector. Will then drain back into the uh, oil pan. And you can see here I've got the pistons out of it. But I have hose clamps put on there and they're holding the rod bearings on and then I also I don't know if you can see here where are we at here where's my finger there you are that's the tip of the uh, piston cooling jet I've welded all of those shut you can see that one a little bit there too that way they don't spray up I've left the lifters in I need to get my other uh, holder that way they don't come jumping out of there they hold that way they hold oil pressure uh i've got a oh where'd it go yeah i've got a turbo feed tube that i'll end up i'll probably run it i was trying to figure out what to do but i'll probably just run it straight well no i won't have a cover but i'll run it somewhere back into the engine that way i don't have to worry about plugging the hole and i want this engine to mimic oil pressure from a running engine that way we get similar oil pressure to the injectors obviously we're going to see higher oil pressure uh, since we're not running all eight injectors we're only running four oh got a light there um, but with that i feel like i feel like that oil pressure is still running off the engine and everything and i'm not trying to simulate anything else using the engine I think will be the best thing that's just just in my idea um, I'm trying to think oh I also need to get a uh, some kind of uh, oil heater that way I can heat the oil up to I'd say I know 200 degrees is usually uh, what these engines usually hover around uh, but if I, I figured if I can get in the 180 and maybe run some uh, oh, 
little 5W40 synthetic or something like that, then we can get some better uh, better readings um, running the injectors. That way, whatever we if we're running a stock injector and we get it up to operating temperature, uh, the oil, then we'll get good data off of how it's working. I mean, I can also start it and run it on cold oil just to see how it would act possibly cold. Um, and then I could warm the engine or warm the oil up, I guess, as I'm running the test uh, or something like that, or stop the test, warm the oil, do that. Um, and then also I want to test uh, larger injectors. That way I could possibly create my own data so I could test the injector, create data, and then I would know what to change in the computer. And I know tons of people have already done it. Why would you do it? I, I'm just a nerd. I, I love I love doing stuff like this. I love trying to figure things out and, and just try things different. And I'm sure somebody's done it, but they just don't give out the information. It's not on YouTube, so I figured I'd try it. But I just think it would be really cool to be able to test an injector, get the data, and play with it on here and see if that data then will transfer over to the truck actually running. Um, I just feel like that would create so many more options and figure out really what the injector is flowing, not just a guess. And uh, do it. just that'd just be cool. I'd be able to actually test injectors uh, if somebody had. I had a customer come to me, or um, somebody brought me or sent me injectors. You know, one of you guys that are watching sent me an injector that was that they were having issues with, and they wanted to know what it was. You know, you guys had time to have the truck down and everything. Send me eight injectors. I'll flow test them, compare them to uh, data that I have from stock. You know what a what a uh, I could do uh, a Ford Reman injector and get data from that. Uh, if I could get data from you know other injector brands that are modified, um, you know a 190 cc injector with 30 not 30 over nozzles, a 155 injector with with stock nozzles or stuff like that. I could just I'd have all that information. I just think it'd be really cool. That way I could actually test and see how an injector is operating and then try to pinpoint exactly what is wrong in the injector, possibly fix it, get it back to the guy. He's running down the road. Saves him time and money. Well, maybe not time, but saves him money. And maybe we can learn from that what what caused it. You know, is it on the fuel side, on the low pressure fuel side, to where maybe he had low fuel pressure uh, at one point and it caused an uh, issue in the injector? Possibly. Um, is it on the oil side where maybe we find something there that he's running different oil causing all of his problems or something? So I don't know. Um, it'd just be really cool, I think, to have all this to set it up just as a toy for me as well. But I think the goal right now would be to. I've got the electric motor set up. I know it'll. I know the electric motor works. I need to what do you, put the oil cooler on here. I need to clean this out here. It's kind of dirty. Clean that out. Put the high pressure pump on. Then do the oil feed. I think at that point. Oh, and then the lifter. Oh, I'm going to have to pull this back off on this one, put that back in. I got those around here somewhere. Um, get all of the engine oiling set up and know that it can uh, actually run or I can spin it over and I'm not uh, causing issues. It has lubrication and then once I know that can run, produce oil and everything and possibly make high pressure oil, I'll get an IPR on there. Then I'll get the hose run over to the cylinder head and I'll figure out how I want to connect it. I don't know if I'm going to, I'd like to go 
just like a stock truck with with all this on here and a D plug and everything in there just to me that would simulate you know with this here that would create any restriction that this would cause where if I bypass this and say I just drill a hole and go in somewhere here or I uh, or I put in a T here next to the ICP sensor I just feel like that would not be like a regular truck I feel like that would throw the numbers off somehow or throw the the data for the injectors off so I, I really want to run that so once I do that get it running know that I can supply high pressure oil or at least get it spinning know I can supply high pressure oil then I will get all the wiring hooked up to the engine for my cranking cam sensor IPR temp sensors I'll probably have to fool my coolant sensor, uh, but I will probably leave my oil temp sensor, which is in the oil cooler anyway, I'll leave it there that way. Oil temp is a big, uh, coolant and oil temp are big uh, contributors to how the diesel engine uh, fuels. So if the uh, engine oil temperature comes up, and it's hovering, you know, 180s, 200s. That's great. Coolant temps up good. It'll all fuel correctly. It's it thinks it's at operating temperature. It's it's uh, where it's supposed to be. But if oil temp is low, it fuels different because it figures the oil viscosity is different, which changes the way the injectors fire, and all kinds of weird stuff like that. That and if it's over oil temp, it kind of goes into a fail safe as well. Uh, which I'm sure tons of you guys have experienced. They will actually derate power sometimes. Uh, whether it's actually well, I'd imagine with these it would probably be defueling because if you you can't well, I don't know if it's true, but from what I understand, you can't hurt a diesel by leaning it out, but you can by richening it up. Uh, more fuel hurts it; less fuel does not. Um, so anyway. I'll get all that set up and then get the electrical on it and then get an OBD wiring hooked up and this is the an old harness I'm going to make work there. I'll get an OBD port set up to the PCM and I will get an accelerator pedal because that or I'll just do a potentiometer. I don't know, I'll figure something out. but. This is basically just me. I just wanted to go over this with you guys. I'm going to try to uh, just keep chipping away at this thing and put it up, whether it be a 5 or 10 or whatever minute video, uh, just to make me accountable. And I want you guys to bug the crap out of me. Uh, just hound me. Bug me. Because I'm super busy with work and everything, running and stuff, but... I've put this thing off way too long. You guys have been asking about it. I want you guys to blow up the comments. And just if if I don't have a video up in a week, you bug the crap out of me. Um, that way, it's just, it just, I keep getting, I get email notification every time somebody comments on a video. So I'm not going to miss it. I got my phone in my pocket all the time. If you guys comment, I get an email that says you commented. And that's usually why I comment. So I, I respond back to you guys so quick. Uh, but if you guys comment, I'm going to see it. So I would really appreciate it if you guys would uh, comment anything back just to get me going. Uh, just to get me back over here to do something little just to keep the process going. Uh, because we all want to see this happen. Uh, it's It'd be awesome. Uh, nobody, nobody really... Sh there's a couple videos on YouTube about injector flow benches but they don't really go into detail they don't show how it works and stuff like that and and uh, they don't try different injectors and see what uh, what happens and everything so I really want to do that but um, yeah definitely definitely keep on me about this but I'm gonna try to at least do a, a some kind of video once a week of the progress I'm making that way I can show you guys and it keeps me accountable for doing it uh, on other news, I'm also, I've been an SCT dealer for some time now. Uh, um, what I got into it mainly was for tuning. That's a difficult thing anymore. 
Um, I'm slowly learning, but that's a steep learning curve. And if you don't get to do it on a regular basis, you kind of get out of it. I, it's not like riding a bike. Uh, you don't pick it right back up. And so I'll, I'll get to tune on something a little bit and everything goes great, get it done. And then getting back into it, uh, even especially if it's a different platform. Like if it's a if it's a three valve Mustang, I've spent quite a bit of time helping a buddy with one of those, and we got it running strong um, and everything. And I'm getting pretty good Coyote side. The airflow math for those is extremely difficult. Uh, SCT just came out with a little bit of help on that. HP Tuners had some calculation. Uh, or a calculator for that as well, but it's still still kind of difficult to use. Doesn't always work perfect. Um, the diesel side, the diesel side's really tough with regen. You know all the emissions in it. It's almost one of the reasons why people like uh, PPEI have the, I'd say the market cornered. But what is it? Uh, Duramax tuner, PPEI, and there's there's several other ones that are making actually emissions compliant tunes and I think that's just the coolest thing but I don't have the time to devote that much time to uh, learning that side of it and know what I'm doing and to have an emissions compliant tune you have to go have it actually tested so I don't have the money to do that I'd love to do stuff like that but I don't know one day maybe I'll get opportunities to to go do things like that but other than that I'll stick to the six liter uh, I got a 7.3 that maybe we'll do a do something with a 7.3 down the road um, but um, well, let's see Ooh, I got off track so I'm an ICT dealer I just recently became a turbo time uh, turbo time USA dealer and so I'll probably have some links to uh, their products down in the description uh, I'm getting set up with some other distributors for products and everything so uh, if there's anything you guys are interested in uh, parts wise let me see if I can help you out with it and uh, I'd really appreciate your business uh, and I'd, I'd love to try to help you guys out try to find things you want uh, get your trucks going and uh, just it'd just be cool to to be a part of it and everything so uh, and if you guys shoot send me send me videos of your trucks or send me pictures of your trucks i'll throw them in the videos and stuff uh and uh especially if you buy from me buy stuff show me, throw me a picture of your truck or a video and i'll put it up there and and uh thank you for for uh your business and everything and just to put it out there and i just think that'd be something kind of cool um i don't know i have all kinds of ideas that i want to do and uh just to just to keep teaching people things that I learn and I, it's not always right but I try to learn stuff and share the uh, information um, sometimes I think I figure something out and then you guys teach me something which is always good I always enjoy learning uh, but anyway I'm going to quit rambling on again get after me about these videos I'm going to try to pump what is it Tomorrow's Monday. I'm going to try to get this video out tonight uh, since it's basically just me talking and going over stuff. But by Friday, bug me. Start shooting me comments. Uh, I hope to have some more stuff done to this and uh, work on another video so I can have it out for you guys Monday and uh, Sunday night or Monday. So, anyway, I'll see you next time. Uh, go in the description, check out some of the links to the. Uh, uh, Turbo Time and SCT. I'll put links in there to their sites. If you guys have any questions or anything, let me know. Uh, if I don't know it, I'll try to find it out for you. So anyway, I'll see you next time. Bug me about this flow bench. I want to get it done. <laughs>